When you listen to your favorite bands, how many vocal layers do you think you're hearing at once? If you're not paying really close attention, you might assume that you're only hearing one vocal in a mix, but these days that's very rarely the case. It's usually a lot more than that. So today, I'm gonna show you how to record all the vocal layers that you need to make your song pop. You wanna know how many bands send me albums and EPs to work on that have the right amount of layers? How many? Zero. And some of these bands like should know better. There's no hard and fast rules. No. There are some fundamental things that you can always do. The song that we're gonna be using to demonstrate this is the song Scream, which is the most recent single for our band, which is called In Virtue. Just yes. I chose this one, f obviously for that reason, because it's we're trying to promote it. You should go listen it's, it's, to it. It's a great song, you should listen to it. But also because it's a slower song and so layering a lot of stuff on it, it's uh, just gonna make it sound better and bigger. And our, our weapon of choice today to make this happen is this fun new toy that we've got that Alex is gonna swing into the picture here. Oh. The Lewitt LCT 1040. This is more than just a microphone. It's basically the ultimate Swiss Army knife microphone. It's a Swiss Army knife, but it's a Cadillac. Yes. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's do it. First thing that we're gonna do is do it like it is on the recording, and then we'll get fancy and add and just go ham. Tell me about the settings on the mic that you've got right now. Okay. It has a tube and it has a FET circuit when it comes to like lead vocal tracks i really like the warm setting on the tube and i for the circuit setting i put it 50 50 between fet and tube and it sounds really cool all right let's do it let's do it tend to be uh, kind of sibilant. 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 Or, what does that mean? Is that a word? Yeah, it's a word. I just don't know <laughs> what it means. You have harsh, harsh sharp uh, yeah. S's. So I guess we'll just do the double now. Scream! You're fading in your hands! Tired of waiting! It's time to take a breath and just scream! Okay. That was pretty good. You nailed it. What you want in a double is for it to be super tight up against the original as close as you can possibly get it or edit it into being perfectly tight because then you can bring it up more in the mix. If it's too loosey-goosey, you don't want to hear it that much. So either sing it perfectly exactly the same as the first take if you can or get a little fancy with the... Nobody's gonna know in the end which one it was. And there's tools out there to make it easier, like vocal line and stuff like that. The whole point is to make the lead vocal sound kind of like beefier and more present. So now we've got a lead and a double. What's next? Harmony! Harmony! Obviously the high harmony is gonna have a lot of a lot more high frequencies and to kind of balance that out, I think dark 50-50 we should be good. And now we're going to do the high parts that hurt. Yeah, that was cool. Let's double it. That's good with me, man. No one is coming. The lamenting the sad failed orgy part. No one is coming. Why aren't they coming? This orgy sucks, bro. No one is coming. I just got a notification. Sound levels just hit 95 decibels. That's these fucking pipes, son. So now we're gonna layer on this second harmony part. No one is coming, tired of waiting. No one is coming, tired of waiting. Can you put everything approximately at the levels that we would be hearing it on the final product? Yes. Ballpark it for me. Probably something like this. No one is coming, there's nobody left. Save you so scream your fate in your hands tired of waiting it's time to take a breath and just scream 
those high notes sound a lot smoother with the setting changed. It was noticeable. I would actually say, in general, it actually seems to work better for your voice. Your sibilance is less of a problem now. Sibilance. 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 Okay, so if your voice is really sibilant, then you want a slightly darker sounding mic. Yeah. So now we've got all of the notes present that I wanted, all of the pitches for the harmonies, and that's cool. Now we're gonna add a little bit of flavor. In the original, I recorded some screams and they're blended in pretty low, but it gives it just a little bit of that aggression, a little bit of a screamy sound because there's not really much screaming in the song, which is kind of ironic because it's called Scream. So we added screams to scream to add it to make it more screamy sounding. Since we're doing something more aggressive, screamy, what I like to do is I like to change the tube to the saturated setting. And we'll probably still keep it 50-50 uh, because that's the saturated setting. If you put the tube all the way, it's it's uh, it's quite aggressive. <laughs> We're saturating it. So saturated means that the tube is actually being overdriven now. Scream, you're fading in your hands. Scream, you're fading in your hands. There you go. Now let's demonstrate adding a, an octave down to the lead vocal and what that sounds like. Alrighty. What kind of a sound do we want to use for this? For this one, we'll do dark. It's still gonna stay 50-50. If you wanna break free, you're gonna have to scream as loud as you can. No one is coming. There's nobody left to save you, so. Cool. I like uh, that. We don't have to do a double of this because it's gonna sit right in the middle underneath the lead vocal. Exactly. It's kind of like vanilla in a cookie. You don't taste vanilla when right. you're eating a chocolate chip cookie, but if it's not there, <laughs> yeah. you know there's something missing. Yeah. It can kind of be too much, but when it works, it works so good. Yep. We could do like a scream, scream. Yeah, like stuff like, like that, a, yeah. Yeah, yeah cause har harmonies and layers don't necessarily have to be the same part, just verbatim, but oh, I'm gonna do it in this harmony now, I'm gonna do it in this harmony yeah. now, you know? Like a direct harmony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's try that then. Make four total new tracks. Okay. And then we'll double that. I kinda wanna give it a little more sauce though. Yeah, I, I, I was about to say, let's do it again. Me with the S coming in so early. So early. Just, just f***ing edit it. You and your S's. Just edit it out. Just chop the beginning. Uh, I chopped it. So now the harmony. Let's double that. Uh, okay. Well, I guess let's listen to it. <laughs> that actually works pretty f***ing well. That's one thing you can do, like filling the spaces. You don't want to fill every single yeah, space. Yeah, you don't want to fill every space. But. but like, sometimes that's the thing that makes it. And you can stack up more harmonies than that. That was just two harmonies. There are certain kinds of harmonies that sound better as in the center along with the lead vocal. But if you want it to sound big, you always want stereo pairs on everything. So that somehow wound up maybe even better than the original and we could have kept going. By the end of it, I was like, I'm pretty sure this is better than the original. This was just a pretty quick demonstration. Going from one, just one single lead vocal to all of those layers, it's night and day. Massive difference, yeah. If you wanna break free, you're gonna have to scream as loud as you can. No one is coming, there's nobody left to save you, so And it's not like if all you've got is the one lead vocal, it's bad. But once you hear it the way that it could be, you'll never go back. Yeah, and there's something you have to keep in mind because we just did the chorus, right? And the chorus has all those layers, but the verse does not have like that, that many layers at all. The whole point is that when you go from the verse into the chorus, it's like, yeah, Huge. it opens way yeah. up. You should go listen to the song, actually, so you know what we're talking about. By the time we're done here, it's gonna be floating on the screen yeah. somewhere so that you can watch the music video. Yeah. It's a dynamic shift. Contrast, you want this Contrast. in your song. Try layering it up like this, 
and see what happens. I think you'll probably be very happy yeah. with the result. Huge thanks to Lewitt for sending over this wild, wild piece of kit. I mean, come on. It's magnetic. Just in case you're like yeah. really, what's it called, plosive? Popping off. You're really plosiving. Yeah. Pl Re plosives are popping off. Yeah. Links in the description to where you can get your very own LCT 1040. Huge thanks to Alex Nasla. That's who this is. I oh. didn't introduce oh, him. But for you're coming welcome, in man. and engineering for me today and producing. My pleasure. Um, and uh, we'll see you real soon. Goodbye.